Well, that's interesting. Hello, it's Mark, AA3K, and welcome to another episode of AA3K On The Go. Recently, I received a question in regards to my tuning an NFED half-wave antenna of what would happen if you used a metallic mass to hold up the wire end of the antenna. I didn't have a good answer for that, but fortunately, I have a pulley on my tower at the top, so I've just raised the far end of my 10 antennas and fed half wave and we're going to give a quick uh, look and seeing as what the tuning is for 40, 20, 15, 10 uh, as compared to what it originally was when I just had the far end up in the tree. I'm also going to switch things around and raise the matchbox up on the tower and put the far end down at the ground. Now the setup here is almost identical except for, or, well, except for orientation and the height of the matchbox above the ground. Unfortunately, my wife decided to borrow the fence post mask that I was using to hold up a bird feeder and I have not gotten a replacement yet. But we've got out my trusty Rig Expert AA55 and we're going to hook up and take a look at this. So here we have the matchbox on a short three foot or so fence post my long coax which is about 35 40 feet i'll post an exact measurement and you can just see in the distance there the choke and then a short length of about seven feet of coax so we're going to be heading down there hooking up the rig expert and getting uh quick multi swr readings okay let's get a look at the readings and they don't look too far off from what they originally were one and a half 1.5 SWR on 40 meters, 1.43, 20, 1.25 and 15, and 1.27 on 10 meters. That is all very good and very close to the original readings, which I'll put an inset of uh, from when the NFED half wave was basically all in free space. Now let's spin the antenna around, put the matchbox up in the air, and see how that looks. Okay, as you can see, I switched it around. The end of the and fed half wave antenna is now here three feet off the ground and the inset picture shows the matchbox up at the top of the tower and I have the coax just running down the tower. Now I did take the counterpoise, the seven foot counterpoise that I've been keeping on this and fed half wave off and this, because the tower is grounded, it would just be hanging in free air. And I'm also starting to come to the conclusion that that seven foot counterpoise is not making a difference. The coax is becoming the counterpoise for the antenna, as I also have a KM4ACK QRP and fed half wave antenna. And I do not have a counterpoise on that, and it also works just as well as this antenna does. Over to the rig expert and take a look at what the SWRs are. Okay, so where are we with the SWRs? 1.38, 1.43, 1.08, and 1.35. Just about the same. It doesn't seem that a grounded tower at the end, fed, that's at the end point of an end fed half wave or at the matchbox end makes much of a difference. I have the coax running straight down. Sorry about the reflections there. I have the coax running straight down to the ground and uh, 30, it's probably almost a 45, 50 foot length of coax. I'll get an exact measurement and post it in the video here. And it is looking clean. I don't think there'd be any problems using a metal push-up mast to hold up the far end. You might need to put a little strap and punch a little ground rod or landscape spike into the ground to ground that mast. But I think you're going to be pretty good. After all is said and done, and usually more is said than done, I do not see any differences between having the end fed half wave far end of the wire up a metal post or tower or the matchbox. It is remarkably similar to the original readings. I'll show all three readings here and you can see they're all pretty similar and a good match on all of the bands. I really have been enjoying the end fed half wave during my parks on the air activations. Uh, it's giving me 
10, 15, 20, and 40 meters without a, tr without a problem. And I have tried tuning it up with the 7300's internal tuner on 80 meters, and it loaded up there, but I did not do, make any contacts or do any extended transmitting. We will play with that at some other time down the road. So, if you're going to be using a metal push-up mass of some sort to hold the far end of the antenna, go for it. Thanks for the question, and I'll catch you in the next episode of AA3K On The Go.